In this video, I want to show you guys how to use a wrap deformer. This is a really, really handy tool in rigging. Um, and it does stuff that no other constraint or deformer will do for you. Um, if you followed along in the last video where I talked through the constraints, I showed how to add the helmet, the badge, and the backpack. I know the backpack doesn't have straps. I didn't want to model them. Um, I was lazy. Um, right now, if I move the head control around, the helmet goes, but the strap stays right where it is. Um, this is not a situation where constraint would work. If I were to constrain the uh, strap to the head control here using a parent constraint, um, it'll move with the head. That's all fine. You think you're all good right until you start moving the jaw, and now it's just moving straight to the strap as if it doesn't exist. Not so good. So I'll just undo that. So how do we get this to follow the face? Um, this is what a wrap deformer does. A wrap deformer, you assign this to a skin that you want it to follow, and it will follow the local skin wherever it goes. This is great for any type of straps like this. If I did model the backpack straps around the chest, it would work great for that too. Um, it's great for um, straps, accessories, all sorts of things that have to follow skin very precisely. Um, it's super easy to add. In this case, I just added a props group to my geometry folder and I put my various props in here, including the strap, which is right here. All right, adding the wrap is super easy. All we need to, need to do is select the object that will be wrapped. In this case, it's the strap. Uh, select the skin that's gonna control it. So this is kind of the opposite of what you do with constraints. And then in the deform menu, so make sure you're in the rigging module. In the deform menu, choose wrap. The default settings work great in pretty much every situation I've ever, ever used this. I should now be able to rotate the head and you now see the strap follows as if it's constrained, but we also, if I grab and move the jaw, it also moves along with the jaw. And that's it. Anything that happens with this face or anything that moves the skin should also move the strap as well, which makes this super, super powerful. That's it.